Thank you all uh, for coming out today. My name is Rick Huffman. I'm uh, Director of uh, Sales and Public Relations here at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. You know, at this time last year, we um, got together and uh, shared information with you about our first full year of operation here at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Uh, we had reported that we had had 645,000 people uh, through the doors uh, in that first year in 2015 and had sold out 11 concerts and that we had been ranked at uh, number 100 on Polestar Magazine's uh, list of the top ticket selling arenas in the world, which uh, was uh, very exciting news for all of us here at the Denny Sanford Premier Center and in, 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 in the city. Um, Polestar Magazine is um, really the Bible of the concert industry. It is uh, the leading trade publication for the concert industry. Uh, every uh, artist manager, every artist agent, promoters, venues all subscribe to it. It's a very, very well-read and respected publication, and every year they come out with their list of um, the top uh, arenas in the world uh, based on ticket sales. And so uh, we are going to right now introduce uh, Mayor Mike Huther, who has uh, some very exciting news for us in terms of 2016. Mayor? Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, Rick, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to, to be here today. And, and uh, hey, Sioux Falls, uh, I'm incredibly excited, incredibly proud to announce that um, we now have the 88th uh, most successful uh, event center in the world when it comes to touring events. Uh, how about a round of applause for that? I mean, come on, we're uh, competing against uh, the, the big boys and the big girls from all across the world when it comes to, you know, bringing major events into their cities, into their towns. Uh, being recognized as number 100 last year was certainly a, a, just a, a grand achievement, but now we've moved up 12 spots to number 88. Uh, I think the thing, the perspective that, that I think we all need to try to understand is that normally there's kind of a, a, a drop-off. You know, you have this initial excitement, this initial thrill. Everybody wants to come in there at least that, that one time to, to see it, to touch it, to feel it, to enjoy it. In Sioux Falls, we had a team that worked their tail off to make sure that year two was bigger than year one. I, I want to recognize uh, the, those, those women and those men that were working behind the scenes on the city of Sioux Falls' behalf. You know, whether it be uh, the team at SMG, the team at Ovations, uh, everybody uh, from, from booking the event to making sure that the event goes off without a hitch, uh, to, to welcoming people as they're here, to, to making sure that the bathrooms are clean, all that stuff that we take for granted as a city, as people that are enjoying this event, um, I want to make sure that they're not taken for granted. Um, Sioux Falls, look what you accomplished thanks to these women and thanks to these men. Uh, I, I just love it. Uh, again, this is touring events. Uh, we're number 88 in the world when it comes to that. And one thing, too, I wanted to kind of touch on is that, you know, certainly we're recognized for our country uh, uh, extravaganzas, our, our country events that are occurring here. Uh, certainly we had some monster country shows last year, uh, but this is more than a place where we, where we enjoy country music. Uh, we had more pop and rock shows last year than we had country. We had more special events uh, last year than, than we had country. Uh, we do all kinds of great things here, and because of that, we uh, moved up uh, 12 different spots. Uh, uh, remember, uh, Paul McCartney was here. Paul McCartney was here. Carrie Underwood was here. Blake Shelton was here. All of them were here, and they hit it out of the park. Um, there's a, uh, there's a, a message that uh, you know, I've heard over the years, and I think it really applies to the Denny Sanford Premier Center and the women and the men that are behind it working their tails off on our behalf, and that is... The harder that we work, the luckier that we get. We're darn lucky in Sioux Falls uh, to have all you folks working on our behalf. We're darn lucky to have the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Uh, but we're not done working. Um, guess what, Boston? Guess what, Cincinnati? We're coming after you. 
uh, I'm very, very confident uh, we'll, we'll do better in 88 next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Sioux Falls. We were so excited to see the numbers uh, that were obtained in our inaugural year, but we are thrilled to see that the number of tickets sold for touring events has surpassed that in our second year of business. There's a lot to be said about the company you keep. And as you see the, the Polestar rankings of the top 200 arenas across the world, you look at the Target Center in Minneapolis, ranked in 55th, the TD Garden Bank Arena in Boston at 62nd, Cincinnati, Ohio at 77th, and the Premier Center coming in at 88th. Across the region, CenturyLink Center in Omaha at 90th, Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines at, ranked at 122. I mention these just to demonstrate that most every venue in the top 100 has a larger capacity than the Denny Sanford Premier Center does. And almost every single city has a larger population base than Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That goes back to the demonstrating the hard work of the staff to provide great guest experiences and first class uh, experiences for the tours when they come to Sioux Falls, uh, but also to the region for continuing to buy tickets for the different types of events that come to the Premier Center. I'll leave the mayor to put on the earmuffs for my next comment, but it may not be realistic to significantly keep jumping up the ranks year after year uh, on the Polestar 200. But you know what? 2017 is looking great, and we're off to an excellent start. This is going to be the busiest January we've ever had. There's not one date that's available in the Premier Center. We just completed... We just finished hosting seven amazing Cirque du Soleil shows. Tonight is the NHL USHL Prospects game, which will also near, near a sellout crowd. This weekend, we have a sellout Eric Church concert as he kicks off his North American World Tour. Next weekend, Monster Jam returns, and the following week, the farm show is using every square inch of the Denny Sanford complex. Uh, it's a great feat to show the staff how they can convert the events overnight with under very, very small frames of time, and we appreciate all of their hard work. The booking process is a, is a daily sales effort. Putting on great events uh, is, is a very, very hard, hard job, and the people that work behind the scenes, as the mayor mentioned, are the ones that do the work that keep these tours wanting to come back to Sioux Falls, South Dakota.